uh, thing working? Sun, can you hear me? Great. Okay, so I am not gonna say which one it is, but I work at a big company. Like, if you live in the US, you've definitely heard of us. Uh, you've probably been in one of our locations. There's a good chance you've spent some of your money with us. Now our whole system, retail, application, pretty much everything runs off of a mainframe down in Basically, if that goes down, a bunch of our databases go down, the business is just gonna grind to a halt. When you're thinking about application performance or availability, you're probably not thinking about the weather, right? I mean, I know I wasn't. Uh, but storms are getting worse. It seems like that's true everywhere. Anyway, got hit with a bad one a couple of years ago. Like enough snow that it knocked out power to pretty much the entire state. Now, we can handle the power outage. That's not really a problem. Uh, the mainframe runs off of diesel generators as a backup. But the thing is, it does take kind of a lot of diesel. And the snow got bad enough they closed the road to stop making fuel deliveries. So at that point, we know we've got like 6 to 12 hours. Either they reopen the roads or we're going to run out of fuel or the whole thing's going offline. And we did have a backup data center on the West Coast. So rather than risk a complete outage like that, we decided to try to fail over to there. And we had systems in place to do that. The thing is, they're not painless and they're definitely not instant. So a bunch of our databases were serving only reads, zero writes, for like an hour. So for an hour, a bunch of core features of our business just didn't work. <laughs> you can imagine how excited our customers were about that. The customer service team is still talking about some of the calls they got that day. Ultimately, we did get up and running on the West Coast Data Center, but obviously it was kind of a shit show trying to deal with the fallout from all that downtime, and then the added hassle of trying to fail back over once we got the data center back up and running. Now the wild part, and I did not know this at the time, during that whole thing, we were actually running a POC with CockroachDB on the side. And when the power went out, CockroachDB didn't even feel it. It just automatically shifted all that traffic to a cluster in Pennsylvania, it kept running. Zero downtime, zero data loss. So if we'd actually been running CockroachDB in production back then, we wouldn't have had to think about diesel deliveries or failover downtime. So yeah, it's probably not a big surprise. We're building a bunch of workloads on CockroachDB now. Uh, it is kind of a weird name, but I got why you guys chose it. It's hard to kill. <laughs> Unlike the power graded apparently. I just need this one. Yeah.